Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's great seeing you. A week ago I uploaded a photo to Instagram and lots of people commented like Oh my god, that's great, you made it, and like... How you made it, and all of those questions. <laughs> and actually, no, uh, it's been in a restaurant I've been in. By the way, what I'm talking about is English breakfast. My favorite meal is breakfast, and my favorite breakfast between like, my favorite uh, are English breakfast. It includes all the good stuff. So today I'm gonna show you how to make it on your own. Okay, all of that goes into the oven. Basically, you will need chopped up mushrooms, um, potatoes, I chop them into like small cubes, olive oil, black pepper, salt flakes, adobo, garlic, and other form of pepper. Set your oven about between 150 to 160 because when it glaze the vegetables, you're not supposed to bake them in a high temperature, low heat for a long time. My oven is already hot. Like me. So what I want to do is like to mix them all up. Basically, when I bake, you see my videos before. Uh, when I bake, I measure everything. But when I'm cooking something, it's always like I'm eyeball it. I don't know, but I eyeball it. I have good sense what I can do. All the garlic, it's about um three cloves of garlic, about that pepper, adobo. I'm using about um, two flat teaspoons and salt flakes. Now, when you're done mixing it, um, I usually use um, pergamon paper, but I ran out right now, so I'm using like one of those. And you know, stop mixing it up. Yeah, you know, like. Vegetables and oil. After all your vegetables oiled up uh, and seasoned well, um, put it into the oven that preheated to 150 160. Uh, for I don't know how long, but I will update you. Oh my god, that's f***ing hot! Um, hey Siri! Bitch. Hey Siri, set timer! Okay, your timer is set for one hour. Thanks! I'll be back. I'm back. It's been one second, I swear. Uh, meanwhile, the vegetables in the oven. Uh, I will show you something really cool. If you click here, uh, you see my video of how to make zucchini pasta. Um, but you will need one of those devices. What I wanted to do is to garnish with like curly sweet potato fried on top. So we're gonna try something. I cut up sweet potato uh, to look like a deal. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is to push it through in the middle. And I don't need that long. That's what she said. Oh my god, damn it. I cut it into half. Let me show you. Half a deal. Just start twisting it. And basically, what you will have is like a spiral of, on the floor. Uh, you. Seriously? Okay, you will end up with spiral of sweet potato, and that I will grease up and Put it into the oven after that will after the vegetables will be ready because that one is basically the opposite we want to fry it. So we need a high temperature and like very short time of cooking. When you're gonna pop sweet potato into the oven, I will use that. I think it's a pancake ring. Maybe. I will use that as a template for my sweet potato. I will take that much of a string, loop it all around the inside of the ring and that way when it's gonna be all fried up uh, it will stay in the shape I put it into the oven if it makes any sense I need to be creative and find like good Asian rule. Um, anyway, the mushroom and the potato are ready. Also, the sweet potato is ready. Now we're gonna make the actual beans. 
Ah, uh, the bacon and the eggs, of course. So what I'm using is um, Hillfield Baked Beans. That's the company. I'm just gonna turn this top on. Oh, I love the gravy. Uh, what you don't want to do is to strain it because you need the gravy to use when you bake the beans, actually. It's really tasty. Mmm, I love the smell of it. I love red beans. Actually, I love canned baked beans. Uh, so I start heating up my baked beans, just, you know, until it's gonna be like, not boiled, but high enough to eat it. And I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of salt flakes. That's enough. And pepper, of course. We don't want to mix that up. And now, what you have to add in the seasoning of the baked beans is smoked paprika powder. Actually, it's great and it will change your life. It's not open easily though. Oh, I need a different one. And you want to sprinkle like a third of a teaspoon. Like, I promise you, it will be enough. And it's not a must, just for taste. I really fancy those. I have here like spray bottle of oil, infused olive oil with white truffle flavor. So I will use that one. I'm not gonna use the hot spice. And I will use also the basil flavor. It will came out so good at the end. I'm so excited. Like, seriously, that's my favorite breakfast ever that someone can make to me. Or I can make myself because I'm not lazy. Good morning! Thank you, one spoon and mix that up until it will be ready. It's not that difficult. I'm moving on to the pan on the left side of the pot. Uh, you will need an olive oil. Close that up. Until it will be ready, we fry here our bacon stripes. Um, bacon flakes. So tiny. So I will fry that and sprinkle above my meal when it's be ready. How are you doing? Great. Added the bacon. So unexpected. I know, right? So gross. Touch it. I'm using past tea company, a black tea with exotic fruit and flowers. That's my recipe for how to make English breakfast. It's so good and it came out great. So I'm about to clean the kitchen and eat that up. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and give a big thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.